Oh man. Uh, well, we made it to Algonquin Park. And look at this. We wake up in freaking rain, thunderstorm, wind. Oh man, we drove literally all night last night. We got here around one in the morning. Look at this. Frick. Yeah. Oh. Freaking. What do you want to do? Stand in the tent all day. This is crazy. All right. Well, uh. All right. Well, let's go check it out. This is freaking crazy, man. This happened to me once before when we got to a trip and then uh, just rain non-stop. So, let's go. Oh, 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 oh look at this. <laughs> the storm is right here. Shaking the tent, you guys <laughs> We made it, buddy. We made it. Hi, everyone. But, huh, we made it. Uh, Guys, it's beautiful out here. There's no storm. There's no storm. <laughs> Brad, so I gotta admit, that storm. <laughs> you were really good in a really bad storm. <laughs> Alright, it is so hot here, guys. But yeah, legit, we got here around uh, 1 in the morning. And uh, we got a fire going. We set up our tents. And uh, we just relaxed a little bit. And here we are guys, we're in Algonquin Park. That's amazing. Bahar was up a few minutes ago, before the storm, and uh, we prepped our coffees. So we're gonna go up this flowing river, see how far we can get. What do you think, Bradley? Oh yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Uh-oh. Yeah, Uh-oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not allowed to do that. Are you sure? Cause you were just right there. No, no, you're, she can't do this, everybody. Uh, got something really exciting this trip, huh? Something really exciting this trip. I got a new camera. It's not this one. This is actually a new one too that I'm using right now and I'm filming on. This is the Session 5, 4K quality. The other one that I got is a Panasonic GH4. I got that one because it's all 4K. I haven't touched it or took it out of my bag yet. I haven't even used it yet. So this is my first tester. So some point during this trip I'll be using it and uh, I'm sure you'll notice it through this movie. All right guys, we are going into the water. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, yes. Look at Paul. Fucking Paul just cuts through us. Hey, 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 you guys, grab them. Shit. All right, revenge. Revenge. What kind of? Screw you, remember what you did to me? When he tips me, I'm like, no. <laughs> okay, everybody. He said he wanted to learn how, learn how to do an Eskimo you pull, roll. You, have to pull. you can't do that. You have to pull. Right. You guys want to get out here? It's gorgeous. So we paddled upriver all the way here. It was a really fun paddle. A little bit difficult because the water's high right now and it's moving pretty good. So it did take us double the time. But this is a pretty cool paddle. So if you want to start here, you can make yourself all the way up to Lake of Two Rivers Beach. How did you get all muddy? Your face is all muddy. That wasn't mud, everybody. 
These are leeches all over her body. Like, they're literally all over your body, Bahar. I know, they're Ow! They're everywhere. I thought they were little branches. No, they're hundreds of them. They're all over your neck and everything. Oh my god, I, I don't know what I would do if I were you. Oh god. They're everywhere. They are! They're all over your face! They're all. Oh no! Talking about we dig a trough and then we just leave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really a long day. Oh, uh, working on the rail. Oh, look at this. Yeah! Oh, yes! ho, ho, ho. look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at it flow. This is how we create rapids. That would have landed through my tent there. Oh man. Look at that. We just got nailed by a huge storm. Look at this. There's a tree. Like a sphere. Look at that. Like that's that's dug in pretty good. Did you get a video of the tree over there? That fell almost fell on the camper? No, I didn't. Crazy whole tree. Yeah. Just go to show you guys how dangerous it is with the tree deadfall. Always watch where you it's put your tent. It's everywhere. Look at that tree over there. It doesn't matter where you It's put crazy. It. Like look at this. Imagine it. That fell on my car. A big branch like this. This hit your car. Yeah. <laughs> That like this is heavy, man. I know. No damage, though. Wow, these ones hit my truck too. Crazy, man. Yeah. Look behind you, B. What? Look behind you. Good morning, day two. We're going out to look for moose. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. What I love about this season is uh, all the moose are in and around the highways right now. So if you leave uh, really early in the morning, there's a mist over the lake right now. So it's perfect. Uh, the moose are <laughs> hanging out by the highways because the salt <laughs> through the winter when they're salting all the highways. Okay guys, so moose, remember last year, Bahar? Yeah. When you saw a moose and, and what happened, like, ah! I won't do that this year. A moose! I did that and they ran. Yeah, they ran. They, they're, they're, they're hearing. They say, I'm Bahar. <laughs> I got so excited. I was like, ah! and then Paul's like, you can't do that. They run. I yeah. didn't know. So if you guys just do me a favor, don't scream. Yeah, when we see a moose, because I, I want to get, I want to get it on film. So let me approach first, and you guys approach last. That was your first moose sighting. There he is, there there I saw a moose, Bahar. I know, I know. Bahar, I saw a moose. Paul, I saw a moose. Whatever you do, just keep Paul. it down. Whatever you do, just keep it down. This is Brad, this is Brad. Fuck! I saw a mouse! Give me that, give me the camera. Go. Hold on a second. Go in the forest with it. Okay, go in the forest with it. That's crazy. I've never seen this before. Why would they be doing this? It's really low.
That's nuts though. I feel like this is weird. Why is he hovering right over the trees? Yeah, so we discovered that the power lines went out. We had a huge storm last night. There's trees down everywhere in the park. It's almost like there's a, like a tornado came down and hit. So I don't know, they must be surveying all of the damage. But yeah, there's power lines everywhere, so we, we should actually really get off this ground. It's probably not safe. And this car, I don't understand what's up with this car. There's a bunch of damages on it. So I don't have a clue. But yeah, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna go check out the fox den and see if it's still active. <clears throat> I found this fox den about three years ago. And we stayed in here for about, I don't know, six, seven hours or so combined, like within a couple days. And uh, we ended up being friendly with the female fox. And she walked me right to the den, which is actually amazing. If you look at a couple years back in my movies, <clears throat> you'll see uh, the fox there. But yeah, I'm going to shut my camera off, and when we get there, I'm going to turn it on. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, really cool story. A couple years ago, we met this guy named Tom. He actually made my Algonquin Park movie two years ago. And if you flip back to that movie, Visitor Center, I held up his postcard. Well, we're just driving down the uh, Arohan Road here, and Bahar's like, is that Tom? <laughs> just driving by. So I, I, I pressed the brake, I look back, because it kind of looks like Tom. And anyways, here we go, Tom. Could it be you guys out here in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> <laughs> what a place to rendezvous, eh? Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Right. I thought you guys were a couple of perverts. Uh, <laughs> yeah. hey, are you Tom? Some, Tom, uh, is that you? <laughs> weird people stopping beside you. They don't say anything, right? <laughs> Better grab the machete there just in case. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we made it to the Medicine Trail. This is Algonquin's Park only uh, bike trail. Aside from the... Uh, the track trail at uh, Fuel Lake. You gotta be very cautious. It's really slick, wet. Hey guys, I don't know if you've uh, seen Brad, but he's uh, one of the best mountain bikers around. Watch how he goes around this this tree here. Uh, I like how Paul says that, that at the same point that he jumps it. Come on over, Paul. Hey, hey! Tell him to watch his language, eh? I bet you this happened last night's storm. Absolutely. That's a big dream, man. Come on, you couldn't jump this? Hey, boo -boo. It's a bear poo. What you gonna do with the picnic basket? Here, touch it, Brad. See how fresh it is. <laughs> Everybody, that is bear scat. If you don't know what it is, bear poo. Looks pretty fresh. It's still warm. Well, you did the lick test, right? <laughs> All right. We have a fork in the road. Let's go to the cool spot that I found last time and uh, yeah. go have a break. We thank you for the nuts. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Perfect for a ride like that. Mm -hmm. Relaxing. The black flies are horrible, though. They're really, really, really bad. Like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. I don't know if you've ever experienced really bad, but it's really, really bad. <clears throat> but I've been in worse conditions where it's really, really, really bad. Pretty cool out here. Gorgeous. We heard some uh, crackling in the woods over here. We don't know what it is. Pretty big. Could be a moose. And it's so peaceful out here. Amazing. 
Nothing like it. You can't get moments like this in the cities. Man, eh? Moving time was two hours and seven minutes. How many? Two hours, seven minutes. Mm -hmm. Our distance was 12.42 kilometers. Oh yeah. Okay, 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 enough. You had the camera? <clears throat> yes, the whole time. So here we are, we're on an unmarked trail. And if we find it, we'll tell you where we are. But if we can't find it, there's no point in showing you where we are because then there's nothing here. So it's supposed to be an old lookout. It's uh, <clears throat> I went and grabbed a coffee on our way back from uh, looking for moose this morning at the store. I was looking at the big map on the wall and I seen a trail that is not marked on my map. Go to the lookout and if it does, at the end of this hike, I'm gonna show you the entrance of this trail so that way you can find it too on your adventure. Uh, you know the gum that we eat, uh, winter green? This is a winter green plant right here. Here, take a little leaf. And uh, yeah, here it be. Just make sure when you grab this plant that you find the one that nobody peed on. That's what I was gonna say, it's a bear key on it. Cause really good chance of this being on the side of the ridge. That somebody peed on this. Pretty tasty, eh? Look at these views. Beautiful. Nice trail all along, too. Follows the ridge. Right there is Opiongo Road and Opiongo River. Coming this way, we're walking towards the mouth. This is, look at this spot right here. You can camp right in this spot. This is awesome. It's not, it's not designated a camping spot, but it's also a non-maintained trail. It's not even marked. It's not on my map. And it's on the some of the maps, I don't know what versions they are or not, but look at this spot, guys. This is just amazing. Come up here and camp, I doubt you're, no one's ever gonna see you. He's taking a picture of the picture, taking a picture. Holding the frog in the ring, winning, 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 No, there is a tear in the pajamas on the flea, on the hair, on the freckle, on the, on the frog, on the bump, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. Okay, so how do you sing it? I don't, I can't even memorize it. I'm not singing it to you because I got, you got the camera on. He knows. There's a freckle on the frog and the bump on the log and the hole in the bottom of the sea. Let's say I'll do it so. There's a freckle. Let's say it together. There's a freckle on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a freckle on the frog and the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. I'm gonna get that down straight tonight. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a flea on the hair on the freckle on the frog and the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, we came on a side road. And uh, we're finding deadfall, just like this. 
we need two more of those because what we're doing is making a teepee so we're not cutting any trees down we're just using something that has died recently and that fell fallen over like this one was hanging over the side and it was dead just must have died in the last storm what we want to do is we want to make a teepee and we have a full chicken <clears throat> and we're going to do like a rotisserie chicken on the fire that's what these guys are doing right now we have to make sure the wood is green it just died recently and it can't be something that burns or would catch on fire quick and it's something that's sturdy enough to hold the chicken so it's pretty cold Brad wants some experience points 10 experience points and he's gonna go swimming it's not like it was a couple days ago like it is really cold today it's pretty chilly How was it? <laughs> all right, guys. So we have our uh, our teepee. We made it. If you guys want to do this, all you need is some uh, any type of cord. This is cheap paracord, dollar store paracord, really garbage. And we cut it. You make your tripod. You make your fire. Right now, the wood is garbage. We have Ontario Parks firewood, which is all wet. So we need to build a big fire, big base. We get that hot ember so it cooks it. So that's why you see such a large teepee. So we have to actually let this burn down a little bit. And then we have the chicken ready to go right here. We have another piece of wood. We foiled it. So that way the wood doesn't burn, catches fire. And uh, we're gonna end up foiling this part of the paracord as well too. So that doesn't burn and we lose it. So as soon as the fire burns down, we're gonna get this baby on there and start cooking it and uh, turning it. And we're gonna uh, make a base with the different spices and uh, some yummy stuff to put on the chicken. Here we are like three hours later and the chicken's not cooked. And look at this, the sun is just right there. So literally we have We have an hour and 20 minutes of sunlight left and uh, the chicken is about half cooked. The outside is cooked. If you look underneath, you can see it. All the skin's cooked, but it's starting to burn. So what we're gonna do is we put some foil on the top to try to radiate the heat. So if the heat stays in there and it cooks on the inside, because all the outside's all cooked right now. Oh, really, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, the, <laughs> oh, the great leaves are awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Beautiful grape leaves. Look at these. Look at these babies. Thank, Thank Rita's you, Rita. mom for that. Thanks, Rita, mom. Thanks, Rita's yeah. mom. Thank you, Rita's mom. <laughs> it was very good. Actually, the last hour, I think I've had maybe 15. Oh, look at that. Voila. Voila. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon, man. C'est magnifique. Hey, we're, we're good. What do we do on rainy days? This. What do we do? We go eat. We go eat. We don't cook our own breakfast on rainy days. No. Nope. <laughs> we, uh, Bahar had her first shower in two days? Yep. Oh my. Yep, it happened. It happened. <laughs> I'm a new person. So we're going to go to uh, the Algonquin Visitor Center. And from here, we're gonna go do the Centennial Ridge. Algonquin Provincial Park, established in 1893. Algonquin was the first provincial park in Canada and forerunner of Ontario's extensive park system. Many methods now used. Look at this, they even have a restaurant here. Go see his very first moose up close. Can I touch this one? Please? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Big, eh? Huge. Yeah. Hey, look at the beaver. Look how they uh, they make their uh, their houses. Come right from underneath. Yeah. 
postcards. Tom, we we'll see you again. There's Sunday Creek. This is that little creek that you see from the road you go over the bridge. It follows down here into, uh, I think this is called Norway Lake. There's a couple of uh, campsites on that lake. And if you keep going further, you go over a beaver dam into another lake. And there's an island with a campsite on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a really awesome site right at the mouth here of Sunday Creek. Right on the left, it goes up maybe about 100 feet high on a ridge. And the campsite's right at the top. That's a really cool site. Hey, Barry. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. Uh, let's go throw it in the river, man. In, in the lake. Hey. If you guys go to the Algonquin website, yeah. there's a camera right up here. Uh, right on the other side here. Yes. You're Green Earth Guy. Green I am. Peace guy. That's me. How are, you? How are you, man? I'm good. You're in the movie now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm no name 6969. I sent you. Yes, not long ago. About Mew Lake. Yes, yes. Did you find it? Um, refresh my memory again. You go down Mew Lake to the waterfall? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, we didn't find that. Didn't find it? It's right on Mew Lake? Yeah, so you go down to the trail where the garbage cans and all that are. Okay. And then you can park right there, and there's a trail where the old airfield is. You follow that in, you take a right, and you go down, and there's, like, it gets muddy. Yeah, yeah. And then you take a left on Lake um, Provoking Lake. Okay. Well, well, check that out maybe on Monday. <laughs> that's awesome, man. No name 6969. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, buddy. That's cool. We have rendezvous right here. Look, we are on the world camera. Cool, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. That's going to be great. We're going to go check it out tomorrow. Now I need you to sign a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Cool. Take care, man. Too, man. Thanks for recognizing me. Oh, everyone got wraps, eh? Mm -hmm. you get a no, what are you going to Mediterranean wrap? We finally made it. Centennial Ridges Trail. It's a 10 kilometer loop. The analogy of how long it takes to do this trail. Oh, yeah, what's it's that? basically driving to Toronto. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and then her face is like. <laughs> hey, Rita, can hey. you recreate that moment for us? Yeah, <laughs> it's basically driving to Toronto from Windsor. It's crazy. No, you're, he should, you'll never get that reaction again. That was no, I never. She just, she could not believe it. They have uh, numbered. Yeah. They see number one, mm -hmm. see number two, see number three. Mm -hmm. you, every so often, you're going to see a number, so it actually shows you exactly where you are on the trail. Bridge. So if you don't want to do the entire Centennial Trail, it's about a kilometer in for a view like this. You can hike up, bring a lunch, and get a beautiful view like this, and hang out all afternoon up here, and then hike back the same way, and you'll be down half the amount of time because it's always harder to, to go uphill. It's beautiful up here. Hug. Oh, you're on top of the world. Look at this. I believe this is Whitefish Lake right here. I think so. I might be wrong. I'd have to look on the map. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, 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 Do you know oh, what song he's oh, singing? Oh, 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 oh. The right stuff. <laughs> what do you think, Bradley? Awesome. Beautiful, eh? It's amazing. We're hiding behind the boulder. Yeah, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know Paul too well to be that quiet. How do you know me that good? I know you too well. Hey. He's gonna karate chop him. I take the stick to karate chop him. Rita, we got you screaming. Got so for all you single ladies out there, <laughs> Brad's got the magic stick. Alright Paul, don't ask the camera. <laughs>
You said you like older women, right? <laughs> hey. Hey, Bradley. I don't think I said anything. Hey, Bradley. So, any of my female subscribers, if you message me, I'll give you Brad's contacts. Please don't. <laughs> oh, come on. Trust me. No. Yes. <laughs> don't worry. They have to go through me first. I'll do, I'll do the interview. Okay. Okay. Question number one, do you like camping? <laughs> Question number two, are you into fitness? Question number three, do you like camping? <laughs> a lake on top of the ridge, eh? Rain, rain. Brad found a bear's den. Oh yeah, look at that thing. No, 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 no. You say the secret password, it opens up. What's the secret password? Is it your stick? Yeah, you just gotta slam it right here. Secret oh yeah, still gotta ask Bahar your interview dating question. Oh yeah, you do. For the yeah. girl who's gonna message me. Very important. Very important. Oh, number four. Yay! I have a question. Yes. Okay. If you were going to interview Brad's future girlfriend, what is the one question you'd ask her? Do you like his stick? Okay. What about the next question? <laughs> <laughs> do you like bike rides? <laughs> okay. <laughs> do, you, do you own a bike? <laughs> What if she says no, but she loves it? Big, you need to go buy one ASAP. What, what if she loves a stick, but doesn't like the bike ride? Hey, oh, hey, shit. The stick's hey, useless. Hey, what else does she need to like? <laughs> what is another thing? Uh, Something starts with an M? Uh, Mast. Meast. <laughs> what? Meast. I, I try to think. Sorry. I don't get um, it. Moose. Moose. Oh, moose. You gotta love the moose. Oh, We're at seven, everybody! Seven! Seven! Can you believe it? It's right before eight! <laughs> Bahar! Bahar, what are we at? <laughs> By the way, that's how you scare the bear away. Rising <laughs> early in the morning. What do you say to a drunken sailor? What do you say to a drunken sailor? What do you say to a drunken sailor? Her eye in the morning. Ho, ho, ho! She's rising. Ho, ho, ho! She's rising. Ho, ho, ho! She's rising. Her eye in the morning. What do you say to a drunken sailor? What do you say to a drunken sailor? What do you say to a drunken sailor? Her eye in the morning. Hey, hey, hey! She's rising. Bahar going for 100 points here. She gets past the rock. She finds oh the branch. Shit, she finds serious? a way across. Nope, that's not gonna if work. she makes it here, she gets an automatic 50 points and she gets it and she gets it again and she's done the splits. Oh. Oh. Good job, Bahar. You got yourself 100 experience points. Yes. All right. We're done the trail. Done. Done. <laughs> oh yeah, look at all this, look at all this. Best scavenger ever. I know, eh? Holy moly. Half of the people haven't even left yet. We have wood scavengers here too. Wood scavengers. Yeah. I know, eh? Look at the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You know what, this, this thing screws you because it beeps and everybody knows you're being videotaped. I know. If it didn't beep, you get so many cool things. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna eliminate the beep. I can, you know that, eh? Really? I can, you know that. I can, you know that. You look, like look, too. we even have ice. <laughs> we even have ice. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's get the ice. <laughs> let's get the ice. Stop it. Let's get the ice. Guys, she doesn't want the ice. My lens is dirty. She does not want the, the ice. Look at all this wood. Look at it all. Hey, Bahar, maybe we can get a job with Ontario Ugh. Parks. 
Maybe Ontario Parks will hire us. Look at we can be, we can be a wood reseller. Wow, that's awesome. That's like foresight. You guys have not have enough. For... We did, we didn't even do one loop. Like we freaking just went there and back. You guys have enough wood here to last <laughs> you the next like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at we got one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna have All of this, gonna... six, seven, eight full bags of wood. Eight full bags of wood. And now I don't have a toothbrush. Why don't you have a toothbrush? Where are you going? Pa! Yeah! You changed it? Yes, I did it so it doesn't beep. So people are not notified that the camera is on them and they keep going in their natural element and just do the things that <laughs> they would normally do when the camera is not on them. Is that what you want me to do? Nothing natural about that, Pa. Is that, is that what you want me to do? Yeah. Okay, I did it. It worked. Let's, it uh, worked. let's see if I can catch Brad again singing. I caught him singing yesterday, it was pretty funny. What? I caught him singing yesterday, it was yeah, pretty funny. Him. Yeah. He didn't know I was behind him filming him. Oh, it was great. He was just going at it like a seven year old boy. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. Ah, oh the, full, the full emotions, the facial expressions. Everything? Oh, uh, he was just loving it. <laughs> oh yeah, and then he looked back and he seen that a camera was on and he was just like, he's like, he's like, oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, I've been caught. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have been caught a red hand. Because he started running and he didn't realize I was right there. He started running? Yeah, he was running down the trail and he didn't know that I was following him. Oh, that's hilarious. And he was just singing and just... Just being an overjoyed boy. Yep. Well, this is the spot right here. <clears throat> The morning coffee rock. Beautiful spot in the morning. <clears throat> when the sun is out. Or when you're watching a storm roll in. Just like we are right now. Or when you have a guy who's got blue eyes and blonde hair who daydreams like he's doing now. Oh, he changed his shirt. I was going to say and he's dressed in all blue. <laughs> <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to head out to the Mew Lake waterfalls or rapids, whatever they are. No name 6969, the guy we just met uh, yesterday or the day before on the at the visitor center told me about it. He actually commented on one of my YouTube movies a couple weeks ago and then we actually just ran into each other, caught on camera, which you've seen earlier. Uh, so he told us about this. What I'm doing right now, I'm sport tracking it. So that way I'm going to post a sport track um, link so that way you know exactly where this is, whoever's watching this. Go from here. Not this way. Not probably that way, to left. Over there. Over here. Like wildlife. Natural food sources such as berry patches and nut producing trees are important for the winter survival for bears. Yeah. Black bears generally fear and avoid people if you don't have any food in your backpacks. However, feeding or approaching them can alter this behavior, mm -hmm. which may lead to human eating. Yeah. Where does it say this? They will eat you. <laughs> They will eat you. I literally started looking for those words. I go, where? Oh I was like, God. did I just read that wrong? Like, <laughs> and human eating, I was like, wow, they really were. So, no name 6969. We're going to play back your direction since I got it all in audio. Because we, uh, where the bear, where the sign says the bear will eat you. We don't know whether we go left or we go right, and we can't remember your directions. That's Get it on video, Paul. Get it on video. This is the waterfall. That's right the here. waterfall. All right, let me set up my camera, All right, guys. Let's go back. This is provoking lake right here. <laughs> ah. All right. You know what? That's actually so true because he forgot what he was saying, dude. <laughs> Look, guys, walk in the woods for like, you know, who knows how long. There could be a waterfall in there. There could be. We don't know. Oh, you got this on video, did <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about when uh, 
when the phone, when the camera beeps and everybody realizes, like, oh my god, I'm on camera. They just they act, straight up, everybody like, forget what they're when saying. The camera's on. And now I can't act. way or not we're just passing the sign tracking tower straight highland right left and it looks like it does a fork and straight these guys went left high highland backpack tree backpacking trail so provoking lake so I think we're on the right path about two days. That's cool. Hey, so we met this guy, his name's Adam. He hiked from Huntsville, Ontario, which is about a 45 minute drive. No, nope, wrong way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> yeah. hey, he hiked. Yeah. How many kilometers total? Man, I think 120. 120, 120 yeah, kilometers. Yeah. This guy left on Wednesday. It was good. And it's Monday today. Yeah. He started with about 55 pounds in his pack. Yeah, yeah. He thinks he's down about 35 right now. That's cool, man. Yeah, you guys should definitely hit, hit the like button. For real, hit the like button. <laughs> That's cool. So 120 kilometers. You did all the Highland Trail? Yeah. Total. What was yeah. that 24K? Yeah, something like that. Nice. Maybe more, 40. Yeah. That's looking awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to calculate it all when I get home, right? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't even bothered to. How many kilometers did you do today? We're gonna go to the scenic lookout now. Yeah. How are you guys? Did you have a good uh, hike? I came by a boat. A boat? Yeah. How'd you get here by boat? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> You'll bring a boat out here. Oh, that's cool. Where did you. Uh... Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Nice. You got it Good for you guys. Good for you guys. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so the lookout. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, uh... I saw some some other lookouts. Our buddies are going to do it. All right, so we have Jeff from uh, Backpacking Ontario. How's it going, guys? Check out his videos. What what did you just film right now? Oh uh, well, I just did uh, three days, two nights on the Algonquin Highland Trail. So I stayed from uh, Saturday uh, Saturday morning, and uh, yeah, we're just going to hike out and catch our bus back to Toronto. Nice. Pretty good weekend. That's cool, man. So you guys actually really like met right on the trail? Like you didn't know each other before this? No, no, we we we, we know each other from Toronto. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't know they had like dating apps for that. I'm just joking, guys. Yeah. <laughs> now they don't want to be on your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> so backpacking Ontario. Yeah. I'll check you out too, man. Please. Now I don't need to write it down. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, spitting yeah. a little bit. Ah. That trail was pretty get, pretty neat. The rapids and the little falls there is awesome too. Just look for the rain. See if it's coming. If it's coming, I want to get my jacket on. So we uh, we're gonna go a little bit further. I guess there's another scenic lookout. About 30 minutes round trip. He was walking fast though. No, he had a quick pace. Yeah. Okay, he said he was going fast. So we're gonna have to move it pretty quick if we want to get back. Off to the lookout. We have a pretty steep incline. Alright, no 
name 69 you're really getting us on a journey here you know what today i think my my lawn chair is missing me yeah. <laughs> i think i think i'm pretty much over the uh, scenic lookout guys i'm ready to go back Guys, guys, look at us like right there. Guys, there's a sign right here. Babe, look behind you. Bullshit. You said it was on every freaking corner we've been look. walking on. I want my lawn chair and my T-bone steak. Oh my god. <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. Oh wow. 250 meters. Bradley, how come you didn't tell me this? Hey B. Yeah. Hey. Look at that. What? It's the first loon of the trip. Yeah. It feels like spring is always happening sooner and sooner and sooner. But this year, and I haven't seen any loons. Any loons. I don't know if anybody else has come to this park uh, this year or not, but I have not seen any loons. This is the first loon, and today is the twenty uh, second. Went solo this morning, and obviously you would know that I see moose because I'd be filming it, and I haven't seen any moose. Doesn't it doesn't even make any sense? So I think spring's happening sooner. The moon thing is throwing me off guard, but the moose, if spring is happening sooner, then they're going out. They're going more into the interiors right now because they're sick of licking the salts off the highways. It was very odd. If anybody has an answer for that. I'd love to hear it. Paul, I have an idea. Can you bring me the binoculars? Seriously? Yeah. Say so. It's a very sad moment. It really so, is. Is it sad in yours? It is. I wish we could stay another day. Didn't it turn out beautiful? I know. We got sun the day we're leaving. Unreal. I feel like we packed to stay for another week. What do you think? I would have been good with that. What you doing, babe? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? 
Our last trip, we were at Grand Bend. We went to Rock Glen. Yeah. You can watch the movie if you scroll back. And then we went to Grand Bend after that. We're on Grand Bend Beach and we found this. It's a selfie stick. <clears throat> we don't have any use for it, but maybe there's going to be some kids camping here. And we're going to go stick it on a tree. And whoever finds it gets a little smiley face. That's hilarious. I like that. Wow, that selfie stick traveled far. So I'm going to go put my YouTube card in it. Okay. And whoever gets it, if they watch the YouTube, they'll see the video. That's cool. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You found it. Watch it. Green, blue earth. That's funny. And we'll see if we get a comment to whoever finds it. That's funny. Okay, we're cleaned up and we're ready to go. Our tripod for our chicken, we're going to leave it there in case somebody else wants to cook with it. And if you happen to watch this movie and you found this, if you don't want it, just re-gift it. And watch the movie. And if you watch the movie, I'd appreciate it if you comment. I'd like to see who you are. All right, make it make it a little windy, Brad. Okay. All right. Okay. That's okay if I pee on the side of your tent, then. No, no, don't pee there. <laughs> I really need to pee. Though. Okay, we. We're f***ing talking in a thunderstorm. <laughs> hey, hey, you made it sunny. Take the sun away. <laughs> Brad, you're you're you're. You're gonna get fired from your job, man. Can you put the blanket back, oh, please? God, the man has to go pee. Okay, you just gotta cover the sun on this corner. Which corner? Where, where the sun's coming in at. Well, he can't do that. Uh, okay, don't worry about it. Just go, Brad, okay? Alright. Okay, a little bit more shake. <laughs> Come on. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm shoving you the finger right up. <clears throat> oh. B. Yeah. Oh. Freaking. What do you want to do? All right. Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Average pace 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers per. Whatever that reads. I can't even speak right now. <laughs> 10. Kilojoules. <laughs> Average pace was 10. Oh. What the fuck? Let Come on. Let me see it. I, I can't even read it, right there. now, man. 12.42 kilometers, 5.8 kilometers per hour, 10.7 kilometers per meter. Kil kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> so I made it the tire, most of the tire. I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> the most tiring. Uh, More tiring? <laughs> I think I have not been drinking. <laughs> hey, oh. Roll. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Did I get you? You got me. Come on, keep going. No. Ho wa 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 ho wa. <laughs> Guy was doing a powwow. We're doing a powwow. <laughs> What do you say when there's no bears? What do you say when there's no bears? What do you say when there's no bears? <laughs> 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 oh shit, I've been recording for fucking five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah! You had us. I hate you guys don't look like moose. <laughs> we thought there was bears down here. I got really excited. A wood reseller. Don't put me on camera. Look what I look like. We can oh, be a wood reseller. Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> okay, cut, 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 cut. Okay. 
What's my idea? Okay, go. I have an idea for you. Okay, go. No, tell me what my idea is so I can. I'm gonna show you your idea, but you, you got I'm gonna give you the binoculars in a minute. Okay, so what do you want me? Okay, no, this is not good. I'm gonna be all out of ideas. Okay, action. I have an idea. It's so sad. <laughs> Why is it so sad? Because I have to go. Why? I want to stay there. Sing me your sad song. Are you recording me? No. You are. <laughs> I hate you. <coughs> Ha, ha, ha.